But we're going to learn it. So, <clears throat> we're changing degrees into minutes and seconds. So the first thing you have to know is how many seconds there are in a minute. 60. Nice. How many minutes are in a degree? Good guess. 60. Yes. So once we know that, it's cake. All right. So uh, the reasoning behind uh, the clock, right, might have something to do with the circle, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, how many minutes there are in that circle? Right. Okay, so we're talking about 360 degrees in a circle, and then 60 minutes, right, in a degree, 60 seconds in a minute. Once I know that, things are easy. I can take this piece right here, that end piece, and I'm saying that's part of, of a uh, circle, or actually part of a degree, right? Yep. It's actually 84 hundredths, 845 thousandths, right, of a degree, okay? So what I'm going to do is use my calculator to say, well, what is 0.845 of 60? And when you say of, you say, well, that means times, right? Remember that from back in third grade? So you're like, okay, 0.845 times 60, that's going to give me how many minutes this is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So we know that it's 66 degrees, right? But how many minutes is it? So then we take our trusty dusty calculator, right? And install later. Okay. Okay. And calculator. And we go, hey, 60 times 0.845 equals 50.7. So I know that this is 50. 0.7 minutes, right? So, I know I have 50 minutes. Does that make sense? 50 minutes. But I have 0.7 seconds. 0.7 seconds. 0.7 seconds, right? Or minutes. 0.7 minutes would give me how many seconds? So, what is... This part, 0.7 of 60, right? Because we want to say, okay, there's 60 seconds in a minute. So I'm saying 0.7 or 70% of 60, right, is how much? So I go, well, trusty dusty calculator, 0.7, oops, pretty clear, 0.7 times 60 it gives me 42. So I know that this is 42 seconds. And that's how you find minutes and seconds. It's easy. It's all 60s. Think of a clock. Right? 60 minutes, 60 seconds. As long as you know that, it's easy. Now, here's the hard part. Oh, no. Well, we got to go backwards. Well, we, we know that this is 60, right? There's 60 of these. Right? So we're going to, since we multiplied it before, we're going to divide. But this isn't divided by 60. It's divided by 60 times 60. Why? Why? That's a good question. Why? Well, because we multiplied 60 and then we multiply 60 again, right? To get there? So we're going to have to divide by 60 and divide by 60 again. So in other words, 60 squared. So if I divide by 60 squared, that's just 3,600. Because 6 times 6 is 36. Two zeros. Right? And so these are two things. Now we're adding these two pieces together. We're going to add those. Okay? So I'm taking this piece, this 22, right? 
divided by 60, and I get this really, really big long number. It's 0.36 infinity. And I'm going to add, if I go plus 30 divided by 3600. Is that a 5? And so now I get, yeah, that's a, no, that was a 6 with a line over it. Oh. Um, and then I get uh, divided by 3600, and I get point. Three seven five. So, so twenty two minutes and thirty seconds is thirty seven point five percent of of a degree, right? So it's just two one eight point three seven five degrees. So now we went backwards, right? And that's how you do degrees and minutes, seconds. Pretty, pretty easy, right? Then they ask you, hey, brother man, can you change this to radians for me? And I say, sure I can. Remember? What Radian. is that number? 37.5 what? Where? 32. 37.5. Percent. It's just a percent of a degree. I thought it was a number. So did I. And I was mm -hmm. like, is that a giant period? I don't this know. is kind of an afterthought. You don't really need that. <coughs> this is kind of kind of giving you an idea that, okay, these are just percents of a degree. Oh, okay. Right? This would be 84.5% of a degree, right? And then that's how you kind of find it. You're multiplying it by point eight four five times the 60. And you get 84.5% of 60, and you end up with something smaller than 60, which is 50. That makes sense, right? And so forth. Okay. And then 70% of 60, you got 42. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So now we want to change this to radians. Remember radians? Radians is pies, right? So I, I can look at it and go, oh, this is my unit circle one, right? Where I got, hey, I got one, two, three. Three pieces, four, five, six pieces, right? And 60 degrees, well, that was 30 and 30, right? Which is two pieces. And there's six pieces to the pi to give us one pi, right? Six over six. So if there's two pieces, that would be two pi over six, which is equal to pi over three, right? So this is equal to pi over three, and that's using your unit circle to be able to do that, right? There's another way. Who remembers the other way? What is pi? How many degrees is pi? Um, what is it? 180 or something? Yes. So we got 180. Is that okay? One pi where you're writing, what does that say? This one? Yeah. 6 over 6 pi. Oh. It, it's just a way of saying pi, but with six pieces, right? Um, that's your unit circle, but this would be a way of doing it without the unit circle. So what goes into 60 and 180? And if we think, oh, I could think 10. That'd be an easy one, right? Instead of 60 right away, let's just go 10. That would leave me 6 pi over 18. Does that make sense? Then what goes into 6 and 18? Three, okay. And three goes into six twice. And three goes into 18 six times. So that's two pi over six. Does anything go into two and six? Mm. A little bigger than one. Two? Two. How many times? One, two, three. And you're left with pi over three. So there's another way of doing it, right? Using... The pi over 80, right? And if they have you go from radians to degrees, then you're just going to do 180 over pi, right? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Right away, sir. Right away, ma'am. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm. Woo! Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Lemon squeeze.